myself, Dr. Vikram Kapoorday. Last lecture, we have already seen the structure of insect entombment. Now today, <coughs> we are going to study the skeletization and function of entombment. Now skeletization. Skeletization at the time of this indices, new cuticle is formed. Initially, this new cuticle is very soft. But at the end of this formation of this new cuticle, they provide mechanical strength or support to the insect body. At this stage, blood that will be act as a hydrostatic skeleton and then to form this skeletization process. Now this skeletization process is, it is also called as a tanning process. It stabilizes the protein matrix of the cuticle and it becomes very stiffer and harder which is insoluble and more resistance to degradation. It is the last process of the molting which involves the differentiation of pro-cuticle into the outer exocuticle that is a very hard and inner soft endocuticle. The exocuticle is represents the tanned part of the cuticle. It is in short, it is a simply conversion of this protein arthropodine into the sclerotin. Now by initiating formation of cross links between the adjacent protein molecules and the cross links they are formed by the quinone part. Now quinone, cuticular skeletization is also called as the tanning process because of you stabilize the protein matrix of cuticle to the make stiffer and harder then it is a uh, more resistance to the degradation process because the process gives the integument uh, which is greater strength for muscle attachment and locomotion which provides the stability against the hydrolytic enzymes which is produced by the pathogens such as the fungi. The process of skeletization cross links of functional groups they are formed of cuticular proteins they are reacts with the quinones and during the skeletization epidermis or epidermal cells which secrete these oral agents into the cuticle where they transformed into the more reactive compounds and they able to link the proteins the amino acid tyrosine which the amino acid is a tyrosine which provide one of the precursors for the skeletization. Insect cannot synthesize the phenyl ring of tyrosine. So it must be acquired in the diet as well as it comes from the hemolymph as a conjugate uh, conjugates with the glucose or phosphate. Tyrosine has a low solubility and this is a conjugation by necessary to increase its solubility in hemolin and it protects from the tyrosine three reactions are there first tyrosine get converted into hydroxylated dopa that is a dihydroxyphenol alanine and then dopa then converted to dopamine that is a dehydroxylated and followed by the acylation of dopamine amino group either beta alanine to the form catecholamines or n acetyl dopamine the character of tanned cuticle is determined by various tanning precursors they are formed selected and which contain high concentration of n acetyl dopamine and they will be gives a less dark than those which contain the N acetyl alanine dopamine that will be used a dark the darkening of critical otherwise that will occur when some of the dopamine is channeled into the pathway of melanin production. Now this is the step tyrosine 
is to increase the amount of tyrosine they convert into the dopamine dopa dopa to dopamine and dopamine to here less star nabd nabd means what n alanine dopamine and n bad n bad that is a dopa uh, n beta alanine dopamine is that will be the more dark then this is catecholamines in presence of phenol phenolosynthesis enzymes they convert the quinones quinone skeletization is formed now here the catecholamines they are oxidized by two classes of phenol oxidases here phenol oxidases are there actually now tyrosinases and lacases once they are released into the cuticle to form the reactive quinones in quinone skeletization the diphenols they are oxidized to quinones and beta skeletization some produces the cross linking agents beta carbon of aliphatic side chains they get activated in both cases nh2 and sh groups of protein they bond to tanned agents in addition to association with the nada as well as nbd ad with the help of this cuticle produced and that bonds that will be developed these bonds are called as a covalent bonds on sides of these carbons also determine the type of sclerotized proteins and the regulation of the gene expression by epidermal cells they produces the enzymes they also produces the uh, proteins tanned precursors they are present in a cuticle and which determine when the process of sclerotization is occur means sclerotization which regulate the hormonal part now what is about the hormone hormone means it is a substance which is secreted by endocrine glands in insects neuroendocrine part is present and this neuroendocrine part that is a neuro hormones actually secreted from the brain supra esophageal ganglion is also part as a brain and which connects this part here that we shown the neuro secretory cells here this part that we connect that is a corpora cardiaca and corpora alata that is a retro cerebral complex retro cerebral complex is formed and uh, two hormones they are regulated the process of the sclerotization one is a ecdysteroids which induce the epidermal cells to synthesize the enzyme dopa decarboxylase and that is involved in pathway towards the synthesis of nada the declining ecdysteroids that is followed the ecdysis which induce the release of neuro hormones this uh, the, the hormone that will be released is called as a bursicon which increases the permeability of the epidermal cells to tyrosine and catecholamines also which allow the production of tanning agent and bursicon which is secreted from neuro endocrine part that is neuro secretory cells in the brain which is also secreted from the ventral nerve cord as a heterodimetic protein which composed of two cysteine and some polypeptide subunits the genes encode that will be called as a perverse and burs which is homologous to a bone morphogenetic protein antagonist gene family which involved the embryonic development in vertebrate animals now concentration of this uh, hormones that will depends upon the some of the situations now here this uh, this part is a neuro secretory cells neuro endocrine part and this is a corpus car cardiacan corpus alata here frontal ganglion is present and that will be connected to the recurrent nerve now they uh, some of the substances 
which is secreted from neuro secretor cells and then becomes to the corpus callosum corpus alata and which is secret some of the hormones and these hormones they will be directly act on the cells cells which part of the cell that is nucleus and which nucleus contain the chromosomes and then by the process you know that by the process of the uh, protein metabolism during the protein metabolism first process that is a uh, replication then a replication next to the trans uh, that we call as a transcription next translation and then proteins are formed double stranded dna converted to single stranded rna this process is called the transcription and this process is takes place in the nucleus and then this rna they becomes to cytoplasm and then after that translation process is takes place and it takes place in a cytoplasm now then translation uh, protein is formed this uh, single stranded rna converted to this protein and then protein they concern with to production of the some of the enzymes and the enzymes play important role to the some metabolic processes that metabolic processes that will take place uh, or they will take place during the life cycle of the insect that is a larva pupa and adult now then during this process the concentration of tyrosine which increases the hemolymph part just before the ecdysis and tyrosine converted to dihydroxyphenylalanine and which is converted to acetyl dopamine and variety of quinones are formed and then it is transported via pore canals into the outer part of epicuticle where it is oxidized to quinone by the enzyme phenol oxidase and quinone diffuses across the epicuticle and quinone always forms the links with terminal amino acids uh, the protein molecule like that is lysine it results formation of catapult type of the proteins and then which are oxidized quinoid protein the quinoid protein links one another this protein molecule as a results tanning process this chitin protein molecules are closely packed due to which cuticle of body wall is thinner harder sturdier and darker darkening of this cuticle seems to be the results of skeletization as well as the polymerization of excess quinone into the melanin simple skeletization what process is takes place polymerization of excess quinone into the melanin and bursicon hormone which is secreted by the cerebral neurosecretory cells here neurosecretory cells in a various type of insects and it does so key a uh, play important role to control this various molting events after the skeletization the darkening of cuticle occurs large number of the insects it results initially to form this process of skeletization but due to this polymerization of excess quinone molecules formation of melanin pigment is also and various pathways of melanin synthesis that will be occur then melanin synthesis that is a tyrosine tyrosine is the name of amino acid which convert to dopa dopa to dopamine nada nada quinone then skeletization then another skeletization dopamine converted to nbad then converted to individual quinone and then skeletization then uh, they are also converted to dopa quinones dopa chrome then carboxyl dihydroxy quinone mechanochrome and then skeletization in this various uh, chemical events that will express in a skeletization now next part is the uh, functions of integument now integument of insect perform various functions first function is the protection it forms the physical environment which is afforded directly various external uh, environment various changes that will take place but this integument which protect this various changes of uh, environmental changes that is give the protection again in beetles upper side of cuticle of abdomen 
protected by the elytra. It is very thin part, but cuticle of ventral surface that is exposed to the abrasion by substratum. Then second function, cuticular lining of foregut, hindgut, which also protects the epidermis from the abrasion by this food. The cuticle plays important role to the success of these insects in an environment or they also reduce the water loss. The integument display very sensory uh, interference with the environment. For this purpose, part of cuticle they are modified to sense organs. Sense organs means what? The organs they are also called as a receptors which receive the stimuli and convert into nerve impulse. And they are uh, involved in this process. But these uh, parts they get the commun uh, communications and either by providing this material. The integument highly effective barrier against the invasion by pathogenic microorganisms as well as the parasites. Surface of EP cuticle not only prevent the addition required for bacteria and fungal colonization, but it is impregnated with antibacterial or antifungal lipids and peptides. Once the physical integrity of cuticle is disturbed, then hemolymph clotting and the melanization they are induced. And this response closes the wounds and trap inactivates potentially harmful microorganisms. Now epidermal cells immediately induce the expression of antimicrobial peptides in Drosophila as well as the Bombyx mori. The expression of genes encoding the antimicrobial peptide uh, sacroni. Now this is about the skeletization and function of integrate. Thank you.